Oh yeah, getting ready for my Valentine's Day date. So I'm going to do a full on glam look, starting out with a little bit of moisturizer. We are going to go all out drama. First, we're going to do moisturizer followed up with a little bit of primer to make sure that the makeup stays on, but goes on really smooth so we have a flawless finish. Starting out with the eyes, we're doing a smoky eye and a red lip. So I want to start out with the eyes because we're going to have so much color. Definitely want to make sure that everything is fresh and we can clean up everything. So this is a great way to do that. So we're starting out with the eyes. A creamy emollient eyeliner and slightly wing it out so we can get that kind of Victoria's Secret sexy eye that I love. And we're going to smudge it out working a flat brush or you could use a Q-tip in tiny circular motions to really work out that color and smoke it out. You can start seeing the smoky effect really early on when you do this. Now we're going to add and build to our color till I get that gradation that I'm really going for and work that color really heavily close to the lash line. You want to make sure that you don't have any gaps or anything between your eyelashes and your lash line and the top of your lids. So just keep building on that color until you get your desired intensity. Then you work it out. So smoke it out towards the ends. You want to get the shape right that you want. I'm very perfectionist about this, so I'm taking a little bit longer because I want to make sure that I get this right. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> so I'm going a little bit heavier, working the color again, really close to those lashes. So you want to get in between those lashes. And you don't have to be perfect because it is a smoky eye and we are smoking it out. So you don't have to be really neat or precise and can use a fluffy brush to kind of buff out the color. Now packing on the shadow. This is a matte black shadow. There's no shimmer, there's no anything like that. We're just packing it on. Now reason to use a flat brush is it's really going to just pack that color on versus using a fluffy brush that's gonna get it all over, it's gonna spread it all out, and that's not what we wanna do. We really wanna get a really intense application, especially up against the lash line. Then we can come back in with our fluffy brush and slightly blend that color out. Now I'm adding a little bit of a brow highlight, again, kind of going with a soft satin shadow, not a whole lot of shimmer. We're doing so much with this look from bowl lips, smoky eyes, that we really don't want to do too much. So now I'm applying just a little bit of a gray shadow to kind of make a softer look under the eye. So popping that on with an angle brush and then fluffing it out with a little slightly buffing brush. Popping on the lashes, oh yeah, full glam. I mean, you can't have glam without lashes. I mean, it's not even glam without lashes. So popping on those. Now, if you're doing your own lashes, uh, do blow on them. Make sure the glue is tacky before you start. But if you've got a client, then just go ahead and shake that lash like a Polaroid picture until that glue is tacky and then add it to their eyes. For the foundation, I'm using a very sheer, kind of medium coverage um, foundation, and I'm using a MAC brush to actually just buff that color into the skin. I love brushes like this for blending and foundation because it just goes on seamlessly. You're able to really work the color into your skin. For a highlight, I'm using a highlighter pen. I love pens because it allows you to really get precise on exactly where you want it. It's kind of like painting, which makeup is kind of like painting anyway uh, but you definitely can just really highlight what you want to highlight it goes exactly where you want to go and you can use as much or as little as you need so I'm just giving myself that little lifted cheek highlight highlight on the tops of the cheeks and then right there very close to the nose and then kind of blending it with my finger for the most part the warmth of your finger is amazing in terms of breaking products down and just allowing you to have a really good blend I will go back over this with a brush though so just really work that product in and come over it do a little bit of bronzer for a contour work that on the cheekbones the jawline Again, full on glam, just work that color. A little bit of highlighter to the tops of the cheeks and blush.
for the lips. I am using a warm, almost mahogany tone color lip liner. This is because I really want that red to not take on a brown shade. Um, so sometimes I'll use a brown liner, but I really want this to stay warm. I don't want it to turn uh, cool at all. So I'm just using this mahogany shade. It's gonna add to the shape without taking away from the color. And it's not gonna be too red, so it's gonna be just perfect. Um, and then popping on a matte red lipstick and just really working that. If you really want a really precise application, you can do this with a lip liner, but I think I've got it covered. <laughs> Pop on a little bit of powder to finish the look, make sure everything's all set in place. And we're done. All right, I am all ready for date night. Red shoes, red lips, full on lashes, bring on the drama. I am ready to step out with my boo.